Yeah, Andre Deb, police say it started with a group of students. They were standing outside the school's gym when they were approached by an unknown group of people. Police say soon after that, some sort of conflict arose and then somebody took out a gun and fired at least one shot, hitting a student in the leg. Police tapes strung across the Dunbar High School campus in East Baltimore this afternoon. Outside near the gym, police say this is where an 18 year old student was shot. And that's when he told us, oh my God, somebody got shot. Word at school spread quickly. Police say the shooting happened around 320 minutes before closing bell. It frustrates all of us. We were all disgusted by it. Police Commissioner Michael Harrison joining Mayor Brandon Scott and Baltimore Chief of Schools Police condemning the shooting. It comes after another violent weekend across the city. It's classic conflict resolution. You have, whether they knew each other or not, two groups and something emerges between them and it's about conflict and the decision to solve it with gun violence. Police say they don't know if the unknown group of people were students. They're now looking into surrounding security footage for more clues. There's a lot of cameras out here, so hopefully we can identify somebody. Police say the student was taken to the hospital and will be okay. As police continue their investigation, students begin to heal. Pray for that young man, his family, but also check on all the of the families here. Every student, if you know a young person that attends Dunbar, check on them. And we did ask police what they were doing moving forward here at this school and police say they are adding more patrols. As for the students, they also say they will have a crisis team ready to talk with any impacted students. We're live tonight. I'm Amy Liu, WBAL TV 11 News.